Listen up, you little rose wearing, you little robe wearing fancy pants. I could kill way more monsters than ever good. And so, we gotta prove it with this bait. You are not disrespectful. Are you out of your mind? Yeah, probably. Alrighty, come here, come here. Alright, it's too many of them. We're gonna do this the hard way. Three, second, Alright, got this. Kill the snake. You keep talking. You ain't, you ain't tough. You did it. I did it. Kill that off. Uh, what the fuck is that? And that's how it's done. Well, alright then. Guess the rest of your family shot like that, they wouldn't all be dead. Welcome, heroes! And we are doing a mod showcase. This time, we're doing the Bleach mod. Uh, I, I have been requested this from a, a lot of you, so yeah, I'm gonna ha go ahead and cover it as it is right now, which it's uh, ready for 1.6.2, no, 4, no, yeah. 2, one of the two, two. yeah, 2, uh, that's, that's its current state of affairs right now. So, uh, why don't we go ahead and dive into this, by the way, uh, Richard's joining me because he's kind of like my oh. m most knowledgeable Bleach friend. <laughs> Yay! The honorable title. <laughs> you like he? You're like up to date with even the current comic, right? Yeah, I read the manga when it comes out. <laughs> okay, so in this mod, uh, the thing that you're gonna have to do is you're gonna search for Hollow, and uh, when you find Hollow and kill them, you'll get this rat ratsu. Re re ratsu, yeah. Ratsu, yeah. Um, this is going to be kind of the main component of this mod. So we're going to first cover the crafting bit, that's, that'll be this section, and all the things that you can make in this mod. So when you get this, you can put it together in this 3x3 three three to get a block. And then if you want this soul cloth, you put it, uh, you surround it, uh, surround the block with the Ryatsu. Right, is that, am I saying that right? It doesn't sound I think it's right. Ryatsu. Ryatsu. Uh, yeah. Surround the block, uh, and then you get soul cloth. And this, these are kind of your construction abil uh, like constructive stuff. Uh, that's kind of what the uh, Ratsu block looks like. And when it is in the world, it does emit a small amount of light. So it can kind of light up your house if you want to. That's that's kind of a nifty thing. Plus, you know, there's it's there's plenty in the world. As long as you, as long as you kill some hollow, you can find some more. So, the next thing you're going to want to make is, of course, the weapons. Now, depending upon if you want to go the Quincy Path or the uh, Shinigami Path, these are how you make the uh, Quincy Bow and the Zanpakuto. Now, I'm kind of dressed in the uh, Quincy gear, and you can see uh, Richard there is in the Shinigami gear. Yep. <laughs> Looks uh, uh, better than the Quincy one with the puffy-ass shoulders. Yeah, this... It's... It could be a little smaller. <laughs> Even got the hollow mask on. So, of course, uh, these gear do actually have a point. It allows you to do more damage with their respective weapons. Uh, I don't know if there's any other specifics that happen. The, uh, currently, the uh, forum is kind of like undergoing some updates, so we're go we're pretty much playing this by ear. So I, I know your level is tied to how much damage you do, but also if you have this equipment on, it will uh, give you a boost to damage as well. So this is how you make the Shinigami gear. You just put this soul cloth together in kind of like the same way that you would make normal armor. Now there isn't a face slot, but that's because you can make the hollow mask, which you make uh, put together with the mask shards. I will show you more about what, what the mask shards do in a, in a minute. In order to make the Quincy gear, you have to put together the, uh, it's like the same formation, but you use lapis lazuli blocks. Uh, I, I don't know why. It's blue, I guess. Yeah, there's, there's no real, like, reason for it as far as the canon goes. But you can see there, it's, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna cost you a lot. That's, 
Was it one, two, three, four, five? So that's seven lapis lazuli blocks. That's that's a lot of lapis lazuli. So get to mining. Oh, and you can also make this. Uh, okay, I I still can't pronounce this. Sl sliding, sliding. Daily Schneider. Yeah, that. You could also make that. Uh, with <laughs> with uh, two rasa blocks and an iron ingot. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait! You can't you can't pronounce Sele? Say it was in uh, Say it was in Ev Evangelion. Evangelion, the organization was Sele. Sele, Sele Schneider. Yeah, Sele Schneider. Yeah, Sele. Yeah, Sele. Sele is German for sword. Oh, well, that's cool. Uh, so to uh, give a little explanation of what these things do, I'll go ahead and grab a uh, hollow mask. So the hollow <laughs> mask, when you put it on, gives you a lot of boosts. Oh, of course, it also... It's... Yeah. Was it speed 2, strength 2, regeneration, resistance 2 for this particular one? Mm -hmm. This is the pretty much your ultimate hollow mask. The other mask will do other things, but we'll get to that in a minute. Now, it does have a hefty drain on your spirit, which you see in the right. Now, when you start, you'll only have about 50 spirit. And you gain more spirit by killing hollow. So, you gotta kill that hollow to get that spirit up. And, uh, yeah, so this hollow mask will give you those buffs, but it'll, it'll drain you pretty quickly. Uh, there isn't really a buff, per se, for the Quincy, but of course they got the, uh, Sally Schneider. Sally Schneider, yes. Sally Schneider. Which, this is pretty amazing. So, I'm gonna kinda go over here so I don't mess with things. So, the first off of the Quincy bow, when you right-click and fire it, uh, you can't really see it there, but it fires an arrow. And it uses your spirit to pretty much charge it. So, as long as you have full spirit, you got um, arrows. So, with the uh, with the Sele Schneider, you can activate it by right clicking. As long as you have enough uh, spirit, which I believe it takes about, let's see, uh, eight, uh, eight, eight, eight. so that Shit. would be 70, 80 ish. It takes a lot of spirit. You right click it to activate it, and it's effectively as strong as a wooden sword. And while it is active, it will load it into the bow, as you can see there. And then when it fires, it yeah, it costs actually, seventy. Yeah, it actually destroys plant life as it fires. And also, watch this. This, this is amazing. I think it's currently it seems bad. As far as uh, it kind of hits you sometimes, most of the time. Now, we are in creative mode. As such, it doesn't actually f uh, take away the thing. Hang on, so let's see. Uh, game Well, mode. I was on... Yeah, I, I wasn't. So, when you fire it, it does actually fire it. Ow. And that happens. And pretty much what you have to do is you have to go and collect it. Uh, oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. You can find any. Where? I'm gonna die. Oh. And back. <laughs> so it's a little bit buggy right now but this is a work in progress mod so you know show your support and we can get all these bugs worked out but uh as you can see the the uh bow will shoot the Sally schneider out and then you have to go and recover it it's it's a little difficult to recover let, let me see if i can like shoot it right yeah, see? and then there you go you got you got your Sally schneider right back so if you're not in creative, you want to make a bunch of these so you can actually like keep track of them and whatnot. And like I said, while it's active, it acts as a wooden sword. So there you go, Quincy with the with the sword. You can't block with it though, so be mindful of that. Now you probably noticed that this dojo out here is made of some weird blocks. Uh, this would be the uh, some of the decorative parts of this mod. So you can make paper wall with soul cloth and sticks. Now technically Ratsu is uh, it's plentiful. Well, it's not exact. I don't know if it's plentiful, but it's renewable. Well, Ratsu is not even a material object. It should be reishi, but they just yeah. didn't label it properly. Apparently your uh, animation is spazzing the hell out. <laughs> Well, that seems reasonable. <laughs> it looks just, like you've you been know, playing with the ice average way too day much. In life. Just playing with the ice a little too much. You're like shivering. I love the ice. Uh, so yeah, it, it should be reishi, but you know, it's it's what they're using. 
the other thing yeah. you can make is hollow bait. Now, when we actually do the monster bit, I'll show you more specifically what this does, but pretty much you could put it on the ground, activate it, and it increases the hollow spawn. It has a chance to spawn Manos Grandes, which if you know the anime, you know what those things are. We'll show you that in a bit as well. And uh, yeah, it, it can also allow the hollow to spawn in the daytime. So it's a great way to collect r a Ratsu and um, all, all that good stuff. So when as you're killing them, the, uh, the hollows might drop these masks. Now, I don't know what these are specific, but uh, these four masks do have a effect while you're wearing them. So, see, I put this mask on, and it gives me speed 3. Very much like the, uh, the, uh, what is this, this hollow mask. Basically, each The half mask? Yeah, a lot like Ichigo's half mask. But, depending yeah. upon which one you wear will depend upon with what buff you will get. So, if I put on this hollow mask, I get night vision. If I put on this hollow mask, uh, let's see, what was it? That was, that was the speed mask. So, which one was this one? This one was a thing. Oh, skip. Oh, yeah. So, this one has jump boost. And then this mask is spinning around. <laughs> this mask will give you strength. And, of course, all of them give a drain on your spirit. So, you got to be careful with that while fighting. Because you won't be able to yeah. do any of your other techniques. It and... regenerates so slowly, so you gotta be careful with that. Yeah, and also these masks look cool. So you kind of like a hollow, or what do they call them? Visards? Visards, yeah, visards, visored. It kind of depends. <laughs> uh, in order to actually get the uh, shards together, like uh, as you saw before, they will the hollows themselves will either drop the um, mask shard or the mask. Now, if you want that super awesome cool mask, you can put the uh, mask into the crafting table, just one of them, and it will give you the uh, mask shard. Now, if you manage to get a mask of the Menos Grande, you can get three mask shards from it, so that'd be pretty cool. Uh, oh, I should I should also mention that the Menos Grande, and if you happen to find this mask, I don't know which uh, mob actually drops it, but neither of these could actually be worn. I, I don't I don't know why. Maybe it's just because the Manos Grande's mask is just really freaking huge. <laughs> All right, so yeah, they're pretty big. So um, there's a couple blocks that are not currently in use as of this version of the mod. Now, uh, I, they might be in use, and kind of with their color and texture and whatnot, it, it kind of makes me hope that there will be an alternate dimension being added in the near future, which would be pretty awesome. So, this one is a, uh, it's, it's, these are different types of ores, so this is a mask block, you mine it, you get mask shards. This is a, uh, this is another ore, this is a, uh, soul quartz ore. So, oh, leather. So, yeah, I don't know what the fuck that is. It's soul quartz. I think it might be implemented in the future as kind of a replacement of like crafting things with just pure Ryatsu. Maybe. That would make sense. But they, didn't they used to have soul glass or soul synthesized glass? Maybe. I think they just took it out. <laughs> well, that that might be uh, an implement in the future, or it also might be removed. And this one is a Ryatsu ore. So it might be potential that you go into the Soul Society and you go digging under the earth, and you could just get these ores. That, that might be a thing. All right, let's I guess go. you can make a lamp. A lamp. With uh, soul quartz. Oh well, you can make a soul yeah soul quartz lamp, which is right here. very underwhelming <laughs> it emits light it's a block it's a, it's a thing uh there's also a couple other blocks which you can only spawn in in creative like this um precipice plasma what was this used yes to? uh it looks like the material from the dangai precipice world basically the the sides of it which would uh make sense in a dangai environment uh that doesn't seem to have one yet but uh it's a bunch of folded time hmm. in liquid to be formed. So they might have that, like, that might be the way that you have to enter the soul societies. You have to go through that plasma. That'd be interesting. 
There's also white sand. Uh, that's the Rayatsu block. There's a uh, Seki. Se se seki Seki. Yeah, yeah, Seki Seki. That stuff. And uh, what is that? What is that one? What's that do? Uh, the white sand. What yeah. are you talking about? No, the Seki Seki. seki. seki? Oh, I don't know what it does in the mod, but normally it's uh, it prevents like spiritual energy from leaving it. Like it it restrains it. And if you have enough of them, you can make like a giant wall, which is what the Soul Society uses. That pretty much propels every source of spiritual energy, so you can't break into it. <laughs> it's, just, it's just your animation is just making me laugh. I'm not even moving right now. And then there's Soul Quartz. That's that's pretty much everything that you can actually uh, craft and get together in the mod. But there's things that you can do with it, as I showed you before, because I shoot the crystal. Ball. And you could also do a well, lot of you things. Just, to, what? You just blew up the door. Look, look behind you. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on uh, <laughs> to, totally the, normal. to the particular mobs that you can find. Yep. So now we're going to talk about the uh, actual halls themselves. And um, yeah, so the bait can be used to summon them. And, and and yeah, they'll, they'll, there's a chance that you'll summon a Menos Grande. So that's that's quite a lot of bait you're using there. I want to kill you. Uh, what? That's that's not very nice. I know. <laughs> but uh, I don't Shh. I don't actually. Just let it happen. I don't know how much like is this even is this working? I don't know. Oh, I hope so. There's a zombie. Oh, there we go. There's some hollows. Yep, so the bait will summon in hollows in the general area. And I don't know if more bait actually equals, like, more hollow spawn, but, like, maybe. One can hope. Yeah, there's 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 a there's a lot of hollows. Die, you yeah. freaky hollow! Take that! So these are the uh, common hollows that you'd probably find in an area. That there's there's uh, they come in different colors, so that's a cool part of the mod. <laughs> yep. So you have like the bat hollow, the blaze hollow, the spider hollow, the golem hollow, the snake hollow, the wasp hollow, and the stalker hollow. And they love to scream in your ear. So, um, when fighting these hollows, it's important to remember that uh, each of them generally has some unique abilities. I don't know if it's like specific to a hollow or if, um, man, there's a lot of hollows. I, I don't, I don't know if it's specific to the hollows or if that's a Manus Grande. That's another Manus Grande. Oh, did we spawn one? Yeah, it looks like oh. it. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> oh, wow. That was unintended. Yeah, so, they kind of spawn sometimes with the bait. Yeah. Where'd the other one go? Is it dead? Uh, I guess yeah, I Yeah, uh, here, just, you should come over here and look at this guy. Well, I was going to say that uh, some of the status effects that you might come across when fighting a hollow is blindness or nausea, which could be very, very unfair. They, uh, they destroy blocks when they walk through, so... Yeah, I couldn't hear a thing that you just said because of the Manos Grande battle. So I think we should call in the cavalry. Go! Oh, yeah. Slay the hollow! So these are Shinigami. These also will appear uh, randomly in the world. They are very tough. As you can see, they got about 150 health. And they also hit pretty well. So, like, you see them all doing about 5 damage, so... They could 4-shot you if you don't have any armor on. And if you manage to actually kill one of them, they will drop a Zanpakuto. But it's a unnamed Zanpakuto. Which, we'll cover the specifics with the Zanpakuto in the uh, next time. So, the last thing that you will happen to find uh, across the area is either a, a hole 
or a decoy. So this is a hull. Basically, they're souls that haven't moved on. That's uh, why do they, do you know why they call them holes? Um, they're called holes because they still have like their whole heart and they have like a chain on it. Basically, once you die, if you don't move on, you have a of fate which is attached to whatever health you in the world and life. And the longer you stay, the more the chain dissolves by like eating itself. And then once it dissolves entirely, you stop being a hole and instead you get a hole which makes you a hollow. Right. Because you now have a hollow heart. So that that is the basics of that. So the uh, the hollows will attack the holes, and you can't help them out by right clicking them with your Zanpakuto. What that will do is send them on to the Soul Society and give you a little Ratsu. So if you can manage to get to them before the hollows do, that's you know that's for your Ratsu. It's, it's, why not? <laughs> Now, one of the things that you will want to look out for is when you find one of these holes, and they happen to have yellow eyes. Now, if you find one of these, oh, there's another Manus Grande. If you happen to find one of these and you try to free them, it will spawn <laughs> Grand Fisher with his really, really weird laugh. And Grand Fisher is dead. <laughs> there, there goes some more shit. <laughs> They're going to town. Oh, are they trying to kill the minnows? No, they're not. They're, they're just killing random hollow in the area. Killing Man. Me out there, buddy. They don't have very good priorities, do they? Nope. Nope. Here, why don't we help the situation by just spotting more of them in? More Shinigami and more minnows. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of this oh. bait. Oh, poor Gillian. Another, another Manos apparently died. Yeah, I just killed him. Yeah. Alright, let's get rid of this and see if we can get a handle on the situation. Well, that's pretty much the mobs that we will come across, so uh, let's. Um, once we clear this up, we'll move on to the next bit, which is talking about the specifics of your Zampak Toe. So, this is the final section, uh, how to actually utilize your Zanpakuto to its full potential. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your Zanpakuto uh, to an anvil, and then you're going to want to give it a name. Like, I gave mine a name here. If it's Zanpakuto, it's not going to do jack crap, so you got to give it a name. Uh, some, depending upon the name, you might also get certain easter egg sprites, like I know if you name it Zangetsu and you make it a lunar type, you will get the actual Zangetsu from the anime. And I, I think some others have uh, other types, it's, those are just one of the things that you can play around with and find easter eggs, yeah. So uh, in order to actually level up your Zanpakuto, you need to, first off, uh, you need to speak with it. So you hold shift and you right click. And this will actually show you what level that it's gotten or it's received. As you can see, mine has 40 in air and 40 in light. So you need to get it to level 80 before you can actually get your first Shikai. Uh, in order to do that, you need to get 80 levels of any combination and depending upon whatever has the most, or if you have special combinations like uh, this one here, you will uh, achieve your Shikai status, as 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 it's shown there. So to actually go Shikai, you require at least 200 spiritual uh, energy. Hold right click, and then release, and you'll get your Shikai. Now each of these Shikai, uh, depending upon the element that you have, will uh, actually do something different. So let's go ahead and uh, start start off with the list of them. So the first one we have here is the fire type Shikai. Now the fire type will give you a uh, generic, let's see, it's, it's like, yeah, you get fire resistance and uh, you also set things on fire. He's not setting on sometimes. fire. Sometimes. So, sometimes. Uh, let's do it. Well, uh, maybe a golem's probably a terrible type to actually go on. He might be immune to fire. Uh, let's pick another one and I'll clean this one up. Yep, there you go. Yeah. So, that, that's a thing to note. The golems are immune to fire. And the, uh, uh otherwise they'll, they'll, they'll set on fire and you can kill them faster with fire, yeah! 
So, the second type is the ice type, as yes. Richard has here. And it's got a... It's got uh, a this oh, go ahead. does slowness, and it also allows me to walk on water by turning it into ice. <laughs> it doesn't go quite as fast as you can go, so if you run at top speed, you won't be able to keep up with it. But, it is a nifty little ability. Uh, you can't swim with it. Yeah. So, there's that. Um, but it's super cool. One of the things you could probably do is back up slowly with guard while somebody's trying to attack you. Hit them with slowness and just kind of run past them because now they're slow on ice and you can run on, run on it really, really fast. <laughs> That's a stratagem there. Okay, so the next type we have is Earth. Sorry, were you going to say something? No, I was not. So, with Earth... It is raining, though. Yeah, weather clear. So, with Earth, I believe it has a knockback. Like, as you can see, it might knock them back a bit. But as, as far as we could tell, it pretty much just has some kind of damage boost. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I don't know other specifics on Earth. Um, when the uh, forum is up, you could always check it out, which, by the way, will be in the description below. I'll link to it. So, that's a thing. So, the next bit, we have a uh, set type 3, wind. So, the wind is pretty cool. It gives you a jump boost, so you jump really high. And on top of that, when you hit enemies, they jump really high. So, you can jump, you can hit them, they jump really high, jump, and then hit them again, they jump really high again. You might be able to juggle with it. Uh, probably takes a little bit of skill. Yep, so that's one of those things. Oh, yeah, yeah, you do have to actually be on top of the block to turn it to ice, so if you're, like, in it, it don't work. Yeah, that's Fun thing. facts. So, the next type we have... Poison. Now, obviously, poison's kind of straightforward. You hit them with your... Oh, well, I have to actually release. You hit them, and it will poison them, as you can see right here. They're, they're poison. And poison! Yeah, there we go. See, he's poisoned. So, yeah, it, it, it doesn't really have anything else, but I think as it was on the forum, he's kind of looking for suggestions. So if you have any ideas on what to add for poison, uh, go ahead and go to the uh, forum and give him some ideas. So, the next it thing... It should make you a birthday cake. It should make you a birthday cake. So the next one we have is heal. Don't take my ideas, people. <laughs> so with, with heal, it also has a slowness uh, when you strike opponents. But also, if you hold right click and release, oh, I, I'm kind of in. Hang on. Game mode S. There you go. As you can see, I have some golden hearts it's because when you activate it, it costs some spirit, but it gives you absorption three. So it's a great way to kind of keep your hearts up and heal yourself without actually healing yourself. If any of you actually know how uh, absorption works. It's kind of nice. So, uh, let's go on to the next one. Six, which is light. So with light, you will do more damage in the daytime, but on top of that, when you activate it, you turn yourself invisible. Now, if you're wearing clothes, it's, it's kind of useless because, well, people can see your clothes. So, you know, normal Minecraft invisibility makes so much sense. <laughs> now Richard can't see where I am. <laughs> I You're right, I can't. Well. Except I see particle effects. Oh, ah, no, ow! <laughs> Alright, so the next thing we have is dark. Now, dark gives a blindness effect, so you hit people and they're blind. Now this doesn't work very well against mobs because, you know, when they're blind, they don't really understand what blindness means. But, yeah, I, I guess it could be, it'd be really great in PvP, kind of make them blind and whatnot. But the other effect that it does have is it does a lot more damage at night. So, you know, if you're planning on running around at night, it's a great one to have. 
So, the next one we have is the lunar type. So this is a special type. As you can see, it requires both light and dark to actually uh, get. But with this one, it gives you a speed and strength boost. So that, that alone is pretty nice. But if you hold right click, you fire stuff and explode uh, trees. It currently, yeah, it currently has the same sort of thing as the Sailor Schneider, but with less damage. Yeah, as you can see right there. So it's, it's a little weird. So this is basically kind of like, uh, what was it, um, Ichigo's sword. It's, it's kind yeah, of like his firing thing. Tenses and gets it, yeah. Woo! So uh, it costs a little bit of spirit, but you could shoot things with your uh, Zanpakuto. So that's, that's a thing. And it's a little hard to get a hold of. Uh, the next one we have is lightning. Now this one's pretty fun. So, with lightning, when you strike something, it shoots lightning at them. When you hold right click, it strikes lightning in a random area. And then you just shoot things with lightning. Lightning everywhere! <laughs> lightning strike! And Smokey the Bear does not approve. What? Smokey the Bear does not approve. <laughs> Yes, Smokey the Bear can do lightning! So, yeah, this is another one of those uh, special types. In order to unlock this one, to power down, uh, you can see that you require the uh, wind and light as uh, equal value. So, 40 and 40. It'd be very difficult because uh, you need to kill specific um, hollows to get these types of damages or types of levels. God, weird. Yeah, words. you get experience for them. So uh, you have to hunt the very specific hollow in order to get them. So it's very unlikely you'll get that type, but you know if that's what you want to work for, work for that. So the next type we have is normal. Now, normal is very special. This is if you manage to get even across the board. And it's very weird. Now, it actually did the right one. So, if you get the basic type, you'll get a speed 2 and strength 2. So, I guess this is kind of like, um, what's his name? The guy with the eye patch. Uh, Kimpachi Zaraki. Yeah, so this would be kind of like Kimpachi's. He, he kind of had a, a, a... Well, technically, he doesn't have any power. <laughs> Even though his sword is in constant release, he doesn't get anything from it. Although, recently in the manga, it's sort of been implied that he finally understood it. But that's complicated. So, right. yeah. So, well, I guess in this case, you kind of have something similar to that situation where it's just your Shikai is just... It gives you a damage boost. Now, the other thing with normal, I don't know if this is going to be like an everyday thing. But, uh, let's see if I can get it to do it. Sometimes, while in normal, you'll get a random uh, thing. Maybe if I do this, change the uh, tech sprite. Yeah, see, as you can see there, I got this guy, which is not the normal sprite. And now I got this guy, which this is a wind type. So, you might end up getting just random abilities, which I kind of hope they remove that, but that's... That's normal type for now, so you, you, you either get the awesome, like, speed and strength boost, or you get random. So that's a thing. So the last one is water. Now, I couldn't find it like I was doing all the other ones, but water type is a little interesting. So the basics that it gives you is water breathing. So once this is active, you can be underwater forever, and it'd be awesome. But the other thing you get is an active ability, which will make it rain. Oh, make it rain. Also, I think, wa is water a mix type? Uh, yes. It is a mix of both fire, fire and, and ice. ice. Yep. Now, I believe you could also activate its ability to make it stop raining, but I haven't been successful. Yeah, it's kind of the worst. So I guess if you want to, oh yeah, there it goes, it worked, I didn't even have to put in the command. So I guess if you want to make it to not rain and, or, you know, troll your, fr troll your friends by making it rain all the time, that that's a thing you could do. 
You just need fire and ice. It's not so, the best ability. Uh, it's kind yeah. of bad. Uh, I, I don't really know the specifics which it would be good for, but that's a thing. It'd just be like a unique ability that you get. So that's pretty much all the Zanpakuto's uh, special abilities. They do plan to add more Shikais and also Bonkais in the future. Um, so, yeah, that would be something to look forward to. <laughs> so, this has been the Bleach Mod. I hope you enjoy. Um, you, and uh, if, you, if you guys like this, uh, you know, leave a like. Uh, if you guys want to check out the mod, it'll be in the description below. So go ahead and check over the forums and, you know, help this mod see to its full potential. It'll be grind-tastic. Grind-tastic. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> and if you like what you've seen, give us a sub. We'd always enjoy more heroes. So, yeah, so check it out. Um, otherwise, we'll see you guys next time. Take care and goodbye. Later, people. Thank you.